in this video on the solar growth model, I will do a numerical example. Uh, this is my second video on the solo growth model, so it will not be quite as in-depth as my first video. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and start. First thing we want to do is we want to find the steady state capital labor ratio. The capital labor ratio is represented by K, and you can see it in this production function here. So we've got a production function in an economy where Y is GDP per worker equals the capital labor ratio raised to the one-fourth power. D is the depreciation rate, and S is the national saving rate. So given this basic setup, let's go ahead now and start finding some things in the steady state. So let's find the steady state capital labor ratio. The change in capital equals investment per worker, I, minus depreciation. In the steady state, the capital labor ratio doesn't increase or decrease, it just stays constant. So in the steady state, the change in capital is zero. So setting this equation equal to zero, moving some things over. In the steady state, the investment per worker I equals the depreciation. So we're neither increasing or decreasing the capital labor ratio. One of the key things, and I showed this in my first video, is that investment per worker is going to equal national saving times GDP per worker. So since I know that investment per worker equals S times Y, I'm just going to substitute that into this equation over here. So we got the four things here, and we're trying to solve for K. And we'll be able to do that. All we need to do now is make some substitutions. S is 0.2. Okay, that was given to us, so S is 0.2. Y in this problem is K to the 1 fourth. D, depreciation, is 0.1. And that's going to be multiplied by K. So all we need to do now is solve this for K. Dividing through by 0.1. and then dividing through by k to the one-fourth power. We'll leave us with this. To just solve for k then, we gotta raise both sides to the power of four-thirds leaving us with k equals 2 raised to the 4 thirds. That's a 3 there. And this will then simplify down to 2.52. So that is the steady state capital labor ratio. Capital per, uh, capital per worker. All right, what else can we find in this problem? We can find the steady state GDP per worker, or output per worker. So let's find the steady state uh, GDP, or output per worker. So in the steady state, K is 2.52. So plugging 2.52 in for K, it's raised to the one-fourth power. We get 1.26. So that is the output per worker in the steady state, 1.26.
Next, let's find the steady state consumption per worker. So I'll just write SS, steady state consumption per worker. The steady state consumption per worker is going to be given by this equation. And this is an equation that we saw for in my first video on the solar growth model. So consumption equals 1 minus the saving rate times y GDP per worker. So s is given to us as 0.2, y is 1.26. So simplifying that, we get c equals 1.01. So that's consumption per worker in the steady state. And finally, one last thing we can get is the steady state investment per worker. So SS, steady state investment per worker. We're just going to go back up to this top equation here where I equals S times Y. S is 0.2 y is 1.26 so investment per worker in the steady state is equal to 0.25 one thing you'll notice here that this is a closed economy where GDP per worker equals consumption per worker plus investment per worker so if we just add up our results from C and I 1.01 plus 0.25, we get y equals 1.26, which we found already over here. So this is just a check on our math. Okay, so that's the solo growth model. Hope you found this video helpful.